Hey everyone, welcome to Fit Tip Tuesday on this first Tuesday of 2022. I have a quick Fit Tip for today. Um, I got a question from a student in my Fit Your Tea to a T class on PatternReview.com and I thought it would make a good short video because I'm kind of excited. Um, one of my students has a a t-shirt she's working on and it fits really really well except for a few things and in the back she has a little bit of knit fabric puddling in the small of her back because of her sway back and I have shown how to adjust a sway back by creating a center back seam and then taking up the extra length on that. I'll put a link to the video where I showed how to fix a sway back when you either add a center back seam or if the shirt already has a center back seam there's a very easy way to pick up the extra vertical length so it doesn't puddle in the small of your back but I'm really excited because the T pattern has unique seam details which offers another um, way that you can take up that excess. So I'm just going to show you here. I have my Mrs. and women's tee in front of me. So what I did was, you can see here, I made mini pieces of the back of the tee. So you can see there's an upper back and there's a lower back. And before I show you how to fix it, let me show you what I'm talking about in terms of having excess fabric puddling in the small of your back. You can see here I have a photo of the back view and you can see that there's just a little bit of fabric hanging out um, where it should be hanging nicely. So I was looking at this photo and I thought to myself, you know, I could tell her to create a, a seam down the middle and then slash horizontally and pleat it out. So that is an option. Um, that you can do and that's a traditional way of getting rid of a you know extra length but then I thought to myself because the T has this um, seam and it's kind of an empire waist seam you know it's just below the bust in the back bust level in the back it's above the bust in the front but then it swings down and it's really like an empire waist level so what I thought could be a really Cool idea. I'm going to fold this pattern piece in half because anytime you're working with a full front or back it's easier to adjust your pieces if you're just working with half because then you don't have to recreate the um, symmetrical adjustments left and right. Um, the Mrs. T comes with full fronts and backs so when you open you know if you're if you're not familiar with this pattern when you open it up the Mrs. sizes have you know the full pieces so I'm gonna fold this in half and whenever I work with a half pattern I do like to pin it together so it doesn't shift around so I'm just gonna throw two pins into this and really even if it was a full-size pattern you really only need um, a couple pins to hold it so you can see now that this is um, securely together I'm going to measure down um, along my center back and I'm going to make a guide here. So the way you can tell how much you need to um, make an adjustment is if you can pinch out how much is pulling. You don't want to take the total amount out because that might end up being a little bit too much and it might cause some pulling. So if you can pinch out a full inch, I would maybe only take out a half or three quarters. Um, or if you can pinch two inches, I would take out an inch and a half. You know, you can always go deeper on this adjustment if you decide you want to get rid of a little bit more. So my philosophy is less is more in the beginning. I'm going to mark a guideline at the top of the pattern at the center back. Um, 
this is a half an inch because I'm working with these little half scale pieces. But if you could pinch, let's say, two inches, maybe measure down an inch and three quarters or an inch and a half and make a guideline like this. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my curved ruler here to just bring me back to the original side seam in a very gradual way. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw this for you so you can see what it looks like. All right, so you can see what I did here is I actually just made a very gradual curved line from my mark at center back to the original top edge of the pattern. And then I'm going to cut that off like this. Now you can see I don't I didn't go all the way to the actual side because I don't want to create a point there. So I stopped a little bit before the seam allowance, which is, um, you know, a quarter or three eighths of an inch um, if you're working on your serger for the T. So now when I open this up, you can see that basically what I've done now is I've dug out some fabric. And if I put the two pieces back together, you can see what's going to happen here is when I go to sew this together, it's going to pull up at the center back. Now this is only going to work with soft drapey knit fabric. If you're working with something really stable, like a stable ponte knit or you know something that has structure, I don't know that this would work so wonderfully because you might see it pulling up. Um, but if you're working with a soft flowy, you know, like a, um, a rayon jersey, a matte jersey, you know, cotton knits, um, when you sew this together, it won't be noticeable that you're pulling up at the center back of the garment and it will pick up the fabric that's pulling at the, um, you know, at the small of your back. The other thing that I would also um, think about is if your fa fabric has a print or a stripe, this is not a good idea if pulling it up at the center is going to be noticeable. If it's a really large scale all over floral print, probably won't be noticeable, but I would not do this with a stripe or things that have vertical or horizontal lines in it because they're going to pull up at the center um, back. So this is just, I just wanted to give this quick tutorial today to show you another way that you could shorten the vertical length in the back on the T pattern. And of course, if you're working with a different pattern that has an Empire waist seam in the back, you can use it for that as well. But remember, the considerations are that you're working with a nice soft drapey knit fabric that doesn't have any print or stripes on it that are going to be noticeable if you pull it up at the center back. So that's really um, my super quick tutorial for today. Next week I'm going to be showing you how to make room in a shirt that you have that you've grown out of. One of my friends dropped off a sleeveless Talbots button-down shirt with a collar and it's just too snug through the bust and actually all the way down to the hem. So I'm going to show how to introduce another fabric to create a panel on the side to give this shirt some new life. And I'll have some options for different shape inserts if you only need room through your bust or if you need th room through your entire side seams. So I was going to do that today, but in the spirit of showing you before and after photos, um, I'm hoping to have it finished so I can take the after pictures for her um, with her wearing it before I post the video next Tuesday. So I'm kind of excited about that because I'm doing my friend a favor and I think this is going to be helpful for people, you know, if you've gained a little weight or, you know, if you found something in your closet you haven't worn in a while and it's in really good shape, I'll show you how you can add you can add to create room so you can still wear it. So that's what we'll be doing next week on Fit Tip Tuesday. Um, I just want to remind everybody on Friday there will be no Fab Fit Friday this week because I'm teaching 
classes for Stitches at Home Expo in January. And I'm super excited. I'm teaching my Break Your Serger Out of the Box class and my Raglan Sleeve Top. And also a super easy um, serger tote. So um, if you're joining me for any of those classes this weekend, I look forward to sewing with you. Um, if not, I'm so sorry there's no FabFit Friday this week. Um, but I will be back with FabFit Friday next week. And um, hopefully I will have that shirt project finished for Fit to Tuesday next week as well. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this really quick little fit tip today. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely rest of your day.